Hi, I'm Daniel. These people are everywhere. I made it home. Obviously, they have pictures of me. I mean, what the hell? They've been following me. They could be following me right now. How the hell do they have pictures of me? I can't trust me. So messed up. What the hell do they want from me? <laughs> Turn that thing off. No. Turn it off. Nah, I'm gonna keep it. Turn it off, man! Why do you always have to film me when I'm drunk? Because I want you to see what, what you're like when you've been drinking. And this is the only way I can do that. I know what I'm like. I'm drunk. You've been drinking a lot lately. I think you have a problem. No, I don't. Dude, I'm fine. You know, what the hell's a big deal anyways? So I like to drink, like, a little. I mean, big whoop de do. A little? Dude, it's four o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> It's all right, you know, all right, you all passed right. out on the floor. Cool, all right. And yeah, you know what? I know. You know, I know what, dude? You were so much cooler before you got your little PhD in everyone else's problems. Good one. Just burn. Yeah. Listen, you were a lot cooler before you were sloppy drunk every dude, day. Dude. Uh, what it has I, to do with, Daniel? Listen to me right uh, now. Right. What it has to do with is that it's 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah. And I come in here and you passed out drunk on the floor again. And look. What do you want to do? I know this place sucks, man. Yeah. I know it sucks. I want to be drunk. Out too. Oh, but come on, man. I got one right here for you. No, you know what? Because we have a lot to do. You want to go out and, like, fight the order? You, you want to go bring a gun on them again? And I don't know. All I want to know is that I don't want to live in a shelter anymore. There's you want to spend the rest of your life drunk in a Dude, bunker? You're so gung -ho you do that. and, like, it's all crap. I don't buy it for a single second that little fake smile you put on and that. If, if anybody here is acting like a normal, well adjusted human being, it's me. I'm not lying about anything. I'm being honest. This does suck. And there is nothing to do right now. There's just nothing. We look where we are. Whatever. You know what, man? What do you want me to say to you? You want me to tell you I'm sorry for this? I'm sorry. You know, I, I'm sorry. I'm not more like you. I'm sorry I can't wake up and go work out just to work on my problems. I'm sorry that I'm not this good looking guy that can have seconds she sees him and forget about her best friend and and just forget and move past it and then when I finally, finally find someone else that's, that's kind of real to me, and I'm sorry that she was fake too. Yeah, whatever, I'm sorry I'm not more like you. You're cool, I consider you a friend, but stay out of my face. Unless you want to join me, get the hell out. First time I experienced loss, I was 16. My grandma died. She had been a real stabilizing force in my life. 
And both of my parents are whacked out, kinda. So I'd spend a lot of time at her house. One thing I learned from my grandmother, when you're with someone, you never know which moment with them is going to be your last. I used to drive her around to different bridge games. She had a regular game for a while. Until people got upset because she won so much money. My grandmother was a hustler. The last day I spent with her, I drove her across town to this bridge game. She won. Of course. We went home and I made her ham and butter sandwiches and it's kind of a tradition that started when I was little. The next few weeks were really hard on me. I had trouble sleeping, eating. I felt a lot like I do right now. These last few times I've seen Bree take off. I've often wondered, is this going to be the last time I see Bree alive? It scares me. I don't know what I'd do without her. She's my best friend. What if the last moment we had together was sitting in the back of Jonas's car waiting for the order to show up? I wasn't even that nice to her. I kept telling her it was a bad idea for her to get out of the car. I mean, I was right, but still. We need a plan. So, we made it, we made it out of there. Whatever that place was, I don't even remember. Beast. Daniel Beast. Ah! 